The NFB is unique in the world, and even more so the NFB Animation Studios. This collaboration with Red Bull Music Academy on the junction, I'm just very excited at having the chance to participate on what are going to be really interesting, kind of experimental takes on Canadian music and Canadian musicians with, you know, the great Canadian institution that is the NFB. Even to the point when we got in, driving through the mountains, I started feeling a bit nauseated because <laughs> I just couldn't scale how big these things were. I mean, what I go through when I make stuff, it's all about process. Sitting at a desk drawing for eight hours a day is just a stupid thing to do with yourself. So there's got to be some payoff, and that's what it is, watching it kind of come alive. One of the things Lunas talks about in his interview that I totally felt a connection to him through was when he's talking about movement. I'm the same way when I'm drawing. I draw a little bit, I gotta get up and move, kind of get myself centered and clear and then come back to it again. So it's this constant bounce back between the drawing and the animation and my actual physical body in the room. Being a b-boy, you really look at how you stand out and how you, you look like as you you perform. It's a, it's a whole uh, performative thing. and. Um, that's when I started hearing music in different layers, was from breakdancing. It's better to focus on fun first and then success later, rather than success first and then have the terrible job of trying to inject fun into something that's not fun. Une fois que j'ai reçu euh, l'enregistrement audio, la première chose qui était importante de faire, c'était de le retranscrire sur papier. Comme ça, ça permettait visuellement de voir l'enregistrement audio. Puis à partir de là, c'était de faire un storyboard pour savoir ce que j'en étais puis euh, où ce que j'en suis, en fait. So, I was at my cousin's bar mitzvah in New York. No éveil! And I was seven years old, and I turned to my mother, and I say, Ma! Could I sing with the band? And she said, I don't know, can you sing? And I said, yeah, I can sing. So for the personnages, comme they parlaient de leur expérience musicale quand ils étaient jeunes, euh, de la façon que je les ai dessinés, c'est très euh, enfantin. Puis euh, c'était de placer euh, chacun des personnages euh, euh, selon leur personnalité, euh, soit Chili euh, en haut de l'arbre, qui est plus euh, rêveur, contemplatif, et Peaches qui est euh, en bas. Plus, uh, rebelle dans, dans son attitude. So we're literally coming from opposite ends. opposite ends. It was such a treat to just have five weeks of my life locked off where I could just go into an animation trance and just go with the flow. So it was a pleasure. I'm hoping that uh, it opens new doors for the film board, for the animation studio, for the young filmmakers, and for Red Bull. And suddenly filmmakers will come to us and say, yeah, I'd like to explore more fully the convergence of music and picture in my next film. You know, allowing people to come in and out of your creative life is something that's really healthy for music, you know? So I was at my cousin's bar mitzvah in New York. No way. And I was seven years old, and I turned to my mother, and I say, Ma, could I sing with the band? And she said, I don't know, can you sing? And I said, yeah, I can sing. What does she know from singing? What does she know from singing? Can she sing? I don't know. This is my daughter. She wants to do something.